Today I'm going to be showing books I picked up over the past week. I bought some, a couple off the shelf that I titles that I norm, normally don't buy, even though I just said last video I was trying to cut down on it, but yeah. <laughs> sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I got some back issues. I got an Instagram buy. So I got used book sale magazines that I picked up. So if you see my Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about. Which link will be down below. <laughs> Uh, so I picked up Amazing, or Amazing, Despicable, <laughs> Deadpool issue 287, the, the lenticular cover, I mean, I just bought it for the cover, I mean, there's very few Deadpool stories that I actually enjoy reading, uh, I can't even name. I like the. I thought the Deadpool first Thanos was pretty cool. Uh, some of the uh, horror ones he did, like the Night of Living Deadpool, was pretty cool. Uh, Iron Fist. I thought eh, I'll just give this a try. Uh, it wasn't one of the normal titles that they. Uh, or just didn't say normal titles, but not one of the titles that they. Uh, it's not, in other words, it's not the Avengers, Spider Man, or whatever else they got. Captain America. I figured I'll give it a try. The uh, and it just wasn't for me. I just didn't really care for it. I thought the art was cool at the beginning. And just like as, as it went on, it just was like something was missing. I'm not sure what it was. But in the story, I mean, it's easy to follow. I mean, but it's just, will I buy this, uh, the part two of this? No, absolutely not. Uh, and I showed this one, I think, last video. And I thought this was a pretty solid story. I mean, I might, that's a big M, <laughs> might pick up. Issue two of this, uh, Spirits of Vengeance, and it's a giant size X Men. There we go. I'll tell you what, these look actually cooler on as I'm looking through my phone here <laughs> than in uh, <laughs> hold them up in real life because like, like they blur together so badly. And I'm used to the DC's uh, lenticular, how they do a great job at it so. But I might try the Moon Knight one. I think it's coming out in November. So I um, might give that one a try. Uh, but as far as my Marvel buying days are, uh, unless they uh, switch, you know, switch creators on Daredevil, I'm probably not. Uh, <laughs> Marvel may never see a, a book on my pull list <laughs> ever again. And, and unless they bring back uh, Danny Ketch to for Ghost Rider. Uh, so I had an Instagram buy. Let's see here. And this is off of a PJH comic book, comic expert, comic book expert, uh, 42. I'll leave a link to his Instagram down below, but he had a sale on some of his books there. I'll pull this back just a little bit. Uh, he was selling some books, though. Talked to him, uh, met him a couple times. He's a great guy, so yeah, check out his link down below. I picked up Daredevil 100. I needed this issue for my uh, Daredevil collection, so I picked up this up as an upgrade for mine because mine got creases all down the side of it. Uh, this is Superman 3, uh, Volume 2. Dark Side is. <laughs> yeah, I just always loved that cover. Uh, I remember seeing that when I was a kid. I was like, wow, that's really cool. But my John Byrne run is almost almost done there. Uh, I think I just got like two more issues, and they're dollar books. So. But this is uh, another book I wanted to get, the Art Germ Supergirl cover of issue 12. I have 13. I really didn't have any interest in getting issue uh, 14. Again, this is a book I'm basically collecting for the covers. I hate to say that. I, I'm usually a person that likes to read the books but but I, I might just give it a read and who knows I might go get issue uh, 14 so I shouldn't be like that so damn it I'll read it maybe I'll talk about it next month <laughs> next week after uh, after I read these two I'll probably talk about it so now I gotta pull, pull the other one back out and the last one I got a couple other ones but I just I'm just showing the ones uh, these are highlight books I guess <laughs> My favorites out of all of them. So, um, yeah, Catwoman issue one. 
of course, Darwin Cook cover there. I've been looking, he gave me a sweet deal on this one. This is one of his books that, you know, so sometimes it can be a little bit harder to find, uh, since it's a white cover. Every time I find it, it got that nice golden, uh, <laughs> it's like a, I don't know, piss stain color, <laughs> but, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's hard to find it. Like even issue two, I mean, I find them in the dollar bins all the time and it's just like real nasty looking. So I'm going to get the first four issues here, the Darwin Cook story or Darwin Cook art. <laughs> you know, it's a Brubaker story, but yeah, I want to put that run, uh, little run together. Catwoman's one of my favorite characters. So I always try to you know, pick up, but not, just like Deadpool, I mean, a lot of the Catwoman stories just aren't that good. She's better as a, you know, a supporting cast member than having her own book sometimes. So I'm hoping this one proves me wrong. I never read it, so, uh, but I'm figuring that the team there, Brew Baker and Cook. I mean, hopefully it's a, a pretty decent story. If not, you know, I got the pinup covers there. So let's see here. What else did I get? Uh, another Hole in the Walking Dead uh, collection now. I'm finding Walking Dead, um, these books now. I mean, you know, I hate to say it, but uh, you know, you're investing in the higher number books. You know, I think the bottom's starting to drop out. <laughs> uh, I picked this up, I think it was for $6. Uh, I mean, still getting a pretty decent price for it. I mean, you, you paid 3 bucks for it. But, I mean, if you were three years ago, Looking for this book, I mean, you're talking twenty, twenty-five dollars. I mean, no joke. If you could even find it, now I'm seeing them everywhere now. And I just wait till they go under a little bit under ten bucks, then I'll pick them up. Uh, so I mean, I'm starting to put together a pretty decent run of Walking Dead, and I'm not gonna kid myself. I'm probably never gonna get issue one, two, uh, maybe nineteen, and was that twenty-six or something? Yeah, twenty-six, I believe. I mean, twenty-six might. Be a book that I can probably get, but you know, 19. I'm not gonna spend a hundred dollars. So, what I might do is just um, get as many of these issues as I can for a decent price and just do Walking Dead weekly up to whatever issue I like. Say, if I stopped at issue you know, 28 or something like that, get you know, 28 of the Walking Dead straight up to the current and just fill the rest with the Walking Dead weekly. And some of those Walking Dead weekly books are still. Pulling in some decent money too, just for like the those key issues that I just said. But again, I'm I already got the compendiums. You can probably see part of them right there. I'm still looking for three. I gotta get three. But uh, story wise, I'm caught up now. It's just I'm going back to get the covers because uh, yeah, I think they're just so cool. And yeah, it's probably a little bit uh, <laughs> probably not the coolest thing to say, but I prefer Charlie uh, Adlard's uh, covers to Tony Moore's anyway. So. So if I at least get all most of Charlie Charlie's Adlard's books, you know, her covers, and I'd be happy. I also picked up from the Barnes and Noble. I picked up it here's Nagin. Uh, let me see where did I put that? Uh, give me one second here. <laughs> You'll just have to believe me. I do have the uh, <laughs> the uh, trade paperback. I was reading it, and I think my wife was looking at it too. So, um, but yeah, I got the trade paperback through Barnes and Noble, or not the trade paper. Jesus, uh, the hard <laughs> the hardcover of The Walking Dead, <laughs> the hardcover of Here's Negan, and it came with uh, the copy of The Walking Dead 100. And this is the Barnes and Noble variant. Um. It's one of the things like, you know, you really want to support like, you know, local comic shops and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, for the same price, I actually got the, a variant cover of the issue 100, you know, the first appearance of Negan. So it's, I didn't like really like buying something new because I'd rather give it to my, you know, the shop guy. Just keep, you know, just to, you know. 
keep the shop going and stuff like that. But, you know, I mean, so it was a little bit harder for me to buy this, but I ended up just doing it because, you know, this, this variant cover sweet. <laughs> I also picked up, uh, I don't really pick up a lot of these magazines, but these ones are so cool and for the right price, you know, I paid $5 for them each. See. Fortunately, I don't got any backing boards. Let me pull this back just a tad. I don't got any, I don't have any magazine backing boards, so. But, uh, yeah, Vampirella issue 45, this book came out in 1975 said so it's you know, 42 years old and it's in really good condition especially for these magazines I mean I'm not sure I only have very few of them but I always love the artist you know these are the uh, you got Enric Torres um, San Julian um, who else you got Jose Gonzalez all those guys on did those painted covers back in the day this is like the Spanish Terry effect that right there <laughs> But yeah, it's just, uh, I always love their artwork. Um, these painted magazine covers. Uh, just, uh, I don't think it gets appreciated as much as it probably should. But So I, whenever I find them cheap and, and in really good condition, I try to pick them up. So, and this thing's you know, got a little bit of an issue down here, but it might not be. Yeah, it's just a little, little issue there. So I'm hoping to get... Uh, I think one of the shops around town here, they sell actual magazine. They do a bag and board. It's probably going to cost me like a dollar for one of them. <laughs> but I'll probably just end up buying one of those. Just that I put this book in there. But yeah, just a stunning book or stunning magazine. And I'm not sure about the collectors back then. But I can't imagine these uh, getting, you know, even put in a bag. They probably sat somewhere in somebody's... Uh, a box in somebody's attic or something like that because they're you know they're just magazines next one i got here of course you know if you're gonna get something uh, yeah unfortunately i don't like i said i don't got a backing board for that uh, you got a frazetta cover here this is originally this cover was on a creepy issue seven uh it's a book i want <laughs> uh, so I'm on eBay I'm looking around you know but I really want the original creepy because I believe it's a story of uh, you know werewolf versus vampire it's called dueling monsters unfortunately there's no dueling monsters in this issue <laughs> but uh, but still I had to get the cover for the Frazetta, Frazetta cover I mean Frank Frazetta is basically a legend uh, his artwork, it just he did the you know, the Vampirella cover, the the first issue, uh, just a bunch of other stuff. I mean, he did some stuff with uh Dan Zig's uh Verotic uh, comic line too. So he's had a really he had a really long career. So, but yeah, I'd like to really get Creepy Issue Seven. Uh, it's gonna be on my want list. Uh, if I don't get it this year, it'll be on next year. But this will do for right now, and it's in sweet condition, too. The price tag up there is ripped, so, I mean, but it's not, doesn't affect the, the condition of this book. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Uh, please check out my Instagram, too. Hoping to have a Batman update video probably in the middle of November. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have another one for another haul next I'll have a little haul, nothing too major, but so, but yeah, I gotta work on my want list. That's my, <laughs> I'm on eBay like every night looking, like <laughs> something I can afford. But uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.